What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. I hope you are all doing very well. I hope you are having a great day. So this game is called Rumpelstiltskin. This is similar to the survey game, uh, Start Survey, uh, but apparently it's creepier. So I already am not a fan of the fact that this is this is all I get like visually so it's already freaking me out uh, before we start the game if you know if you enjoy this type of content or if you're enjoying you know all my stuff then feel free to hit that subscribe button uh, you don't have to that's totally up to you if you subscribe and then later on it's not your thing then feel free to unsubscribe that's you know it's all up to you guys it is just a free thing to do uh, and also if you enjoy this video by the end don't forget to give it a like and share share it with your friends let's just get into this let's just right in amongst it to move Okay, can I not use WSD? The, he, uh, how do I want to be referred to? Well, what I'll do is I'll do they, them, because I want to be interactive with all of you guys. So you guys are they and them. And I'm not going to go through everybody's names. I don't know everybody's names. There's too many of you. Christ. Uh, so I'll do they then. Be referred to as they then. Cool. What is my name? What's with this fucking blue eyed fucking bull cut guy? Give a name, capitalize the first letter, use keyboard, press enter when ready. Oh! Uh. Uh, no, that's not Scottish enough. Mick Scrot. Not a script, David. Scrot. Oh, fucking. There you go. Okay, uh. Confirm my name is Mick Scrot. Yep. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Proverbs, whatever. Either people are burning or it's a carnival. That's a fire. Rumpel stilt skin. Oh. Oh no, I, I literally can't use WSD. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Dr. McScrote Gold. <laughs> if I could if I knew it was his first name, I wouldn't have picked McScrote. A wheelchair. Okay. Forensics? Am I a doctor or a detective? Both? Can I... Picture of a young girl? Am I related to this person? You're banging you her! You have one new message. Message I just, received I just today the phone up. at 4.54pm. Christ. 
Dr. Gold? This is Dr. Dreiman. I heard about the accident. Are you okay? Well, considering I am... I'm no longer in the wheelchair means I've recovered. So you've taken... Let's say I had some serious injuries. Six months to a year is taking you. You baldy white bearded fuck. Cue bald motherfucker. You waited a year to even do it's just, is this what it is for you? Does it, take your fucking Harry Potter glasses and ram that up your hole. And also, isn't this an answer machine? I hope most of your memory has come back. We don't have much time. You have to do the interrogation now. What? what? Is he French? The interrogation. He's French, but he... He looks like a... He looks a cue ball fucking... I don't know. You can bowl cut and fucking cue ball. Allow me to brief you, um... <laughs> Loud. On the Loud. situation. Object 71 is currently being held in solitary confinement. They have specifically asked for you, Dr. Gold. We don't know why. That's Dr. McScrot Gold to you. Something tells me you've forgotten about 071. Here's what we know. Oh, he's German. Object 71. Also known by the nickname Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpel Foreskin. We recovered 071 in January earlier this year when a truck driver struck it down. It was gravely injured and suffered massive head trauma. Was that because of the circumcision? 071 appears to be a humanoid creature standing erect at about 5 foot 10. They're just like rumple foreskin, head trauma, standing erect. They're, it's a it's a humanoid creature, but it probably has a huge, fucking, magusive bell head. I ran out of oxygen. A massive bell head and probably runs around in two bars. That's what's going on here. It appears to have shape shifting abilities, despite. Appearing human, its gender and appearance can vary. Let me guess, it's a giant flaccid thing. But what makes 071 dangerous, however, is its ability to, for lack of a better word, control your mind and force you to do things. It's, it's, it's gonna tickle my bum hole, isn't it? Not that that's bad or anything. I'm just saying it's going to force me to do stuff. You can call it possession, soul sucking, whatever. i tell you what kind of sucking it's going to fucking do. We have, uh, however, deduced how 071 does this. Felicio. Think of 071 as a human lie detector. It can, without fail, mostly unconsciously, Determine if you are telling the truth. Okay. It doesn't matter if what you are saying it is correct. It doesn't matter what it you're cares saying. more about whether or not you are being disingenuous. Need I remind you about Incident 71S, Why did it... where 071 compelled a young girl to burn down a school full of children. Okay, that's that's pretty harsh. Why is everything get fucking 71 this and 71 s and 0 71? Needless to say, Just call it rumple stout skin. Is of utmost import. Yep. Containing 071 involves knowledge about 071. The more about 071's current iteration we know, the less powerful it is. The more we know about 071, the more 071 knows about 071. And what 071 needs to know about 071 is that it doesn't need to know about 071. So, the more we know...
the more, but also her carry with you. Okay, okay. Now you know why we call it Rumpelstiltskin. You know, like the German fairy tale. Because he walks around with a big fucking turtleneck on. For now, the creature is still injured, but before long it will recover. And it will escape by possessing one of us. Is did you have hair before? Is is that what it is? It's your rumple stilt skin. It has peeled the foreskin. It has peeled its muffin cap back below and <laughs> and fucking stapled it over your head. You are rumple stilt it's just I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I just, I'm I don't actually on my way now to the facility. I expect to see you when I get there. Do you need my wheelchair, Professor X? Is that... M71 asked for you, specifically. I suggest you tread lightly. Why did it ask for me specifically? If it's already, if it's injured? Why did... So your job is to go into that room and use that PhD of yours in... <laughs> Criminal psychology to get more truths out of our little lie detector. Your job is to go into that room and use that PhD and smash it over the head. Just beat it to death with the fucking tube and the paper and frame and just beat it to hell. For now... We only know one thing about 071. It likes to get freaky. Yeah. Well, obviously, if it's German. Then... No matter what it looks like, its voice stays the same. It doesn't sound human. It sounds like... It, it sounds like... Or it sounds... Uh, let's save and file one. Cool. Can I leave? Uh, excuse me, fellas. Uh, can, I, can I can I continue? Ugh! What the? Heck? Why have you all get fucking weird looking masks? If I walked into a convention, like, is this? Coronavirus. I've walked into a convention during coronavirus. Everybody's got all these fucking stupid anime masks on. I fucking knew it. So I was already in the containment complex. How the fuck? Why am I in my office? I've got amnesia. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know who I am. I don't know what I do. But I'm somehow in a high-tech, sealed-off facility that clearly I would have to come in with a fucking badge and scan it with security detail. And I somehow managed to figure that out and then sit in my office and go, that's weird. Uh, I don't actually know what I fucking do here. Like, what, what the shit? Can I? Could be a fridge. They're recording everything. Also, why did you leave me a message when you're literally next door to me? You lazy, bald headed fuck. Don't mind them, Doctor. They're trying not to say anything for obvious reasons. Don't keep 07 and do be careful. 071. Okay. I certainly will. Sure. Here we, <laughs> Here we go, McScrot. It's like McFly, but it's just. God damn it, McFly!
did you sleep last night with your mother? Hello, Dr. Gold. Have a seat. I don't like this. Uh, let me the fuck out, please. Turn the lights off. No! Do you know why you're here? No! You're the one who wanted me here. Oh my no, god! No. Do you remember why you're here? Uh, no. I heard about the accident. Okay. My I thought it was talking to me. Uh, that's not your business. I sincerely hope your memory comes back soon. It will make our conversation in here a little more interesting. interesting. That voice is creepy. Whose blood is out in your face? You don't want to talk about yourself. Oh. oh. Right. The whole lion thing. Dr. Dryman warned you well. Do you know he sent you here to die? Let's talk about you. You hooded weirdo. You just want to know things about me. So you can control me. What makes you think you can buy my truth? Because I'll take your head off. I've had, I have a degree in crim criminal psychology. My PhD taught me a lot about criminals like you. Uh, sure, like that's going to be a fucking thing. Oh! I'm not a criminal, doctor. Get away from me. You're a monster? I tell you what, let's wager something. Make this game interesting, interesting for all the people. Oh, no! For all the people no. watching through the monitors. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, this was a fun looking little game until the. <sighs> sure! I ask you a question, you answer. If you answer, then I answer. Okay, okay, okay. If O71 detects the lie, it will suck out your soul. That's what he said, right? Yes. Oh. I didn't say it. You did. The game has already begun. Oh no. You have no choice. I, fuck, I, I done fucked up. I done fucked up. You don't have to call me Dr. Gold. Just call me McScroat. So you give me a question. So what's your first question? Question one. What is your name? Dr. Gold. PhD. Dr. Gold. No, no, no. Think of this as a conversation between buddies. Okay. No one ever calls their buddy Dr. Gold. How do you know? They are very strict friends. They are all doctors and we all refer to ourselves as doctors. Apart from one. He's just a Mr. Wallowitz. Give me something I can call you. McScroat, call me McScroat. <laughs> He's like, really? That's your fucking name? You're laughing at me for having a fucking turtleneck and calling me a fucking foreskin and a flaccid penis and fucking all that stuff? And you're called McScroat, you fucking... <laughs> On second thought, <laughs> I'm just calling you Dr. Gold. 
You don't strike me as very friendly. You haven't earned my trust. <laughs> On second thought, you've got a fucking stupid name. <laughs> okay then. And now for question two. Hold on a minute, do I not forget to ask? Stiltskin sounds like a German cheese. Uh, uh, mm, uh, a cheesy substance that's hidden under the, the stilt skin. You can call me Satan. Or God. How do I answer this? <laughs> God, really? I'm the one asking the questions. I'm sorry, Satan. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Question two. Do you feel safe? No, I do not. Like in general? <laughs> do you feel safe right now? In front of me. Uh, kinda do. Dr. Gold. Can you explain more? That's my answer. Like, I don't have to explain more. Alright then. You are being very careful, I see. I noticed that the deep voice That's is getting louder. I do feel safe here, Doctor. Despite my circumstances. Yes, but... Well, we've, we've contained you, but you've obviously... You, you feel safe because you're in control, Joe. technically. Doctor Gold. Stop it with that, please. Talk to my face, not in my ear hole. How is this going to go? I find all the pleasantries. Boring. There is nothing pleasant here. You tell me. More questions then. Okay. Do you feel like you're in control? Uh, I... This is my turf, not yours. <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> is that a lie, Dr. Gold? In this room, lies must not be told. It's a lie. If I lied, I'd be under your control. Duh. But how do you know I haven't already taken control of you? Uh... Point taken. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. As human beings, aren't we all slaves to something? Isn't something always controlling us? I think we've con like we already came to the conclusion that I'm the human being. Although I have a stupid name, but you're the one that's not a human. Are we not all dangling in the strings of fate? This pile of meat in physics, strong and weak nuclear forces preventing us from being torn asunder. Well, yeah. It's just life. Our awareness is perfect. Don't turn your back on me. Our cells, our molecules, our gluons don't think, Dr. Gold. Yeah, but the fact that those electrical signals, the cells, molecules, and everything that make up the brain, the brain has got a self awareness. Like, how fucked up is it? The brain named itself. How fucked up's that? Imagine an organ that fucking smart that it names itself. 
Oh, Frog stop doing that. Concern themselves with the makeup of our brain cells. If I were controlling you, Doctor, my whims would be a part of you. Then release thine whims. Let's be whimsical together. Even if you try to resist, that would still be my influence, not yours. So you try to tell me that if I try to resist, but you're controlling me, then technically you're resisting yourself? So yes, it does not matter. But if I had control over you, this conversation wouldn't be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, you're saying that it'd be, it wouldn't be interesting because you're talking to yourself? So there's my answer. I may be surrounded by men with guns and mad scientists. I'm waiting for the not you right in my ear. I'm the one in control here. Not you. Oh, yeah. T it make me tingle. Stop doing that, please. <laughs> not in my ear hole. What do you want? You should get that, Doctor. I know, I know, I know. Dr. Cole, you got 071 talking. Keep it up, it will eventually give up something about itself. 071 is vain and cannot resist waxing poetic. Keep answering his questions. Okay, okay. Just avoid saying any lie about yourself. Be as fake as possible. Now continue. Why, why don't, why did you have to tell me that? Why? Dr. Cole. Also, is that clock getting louder? I know you want to know more about me. None of this fake nonsense. So I will give you a good question. Again, first. You. What are you? As far as I know, human. Because I... 100% human, I don't know if I have any metal plates or anything. So... A person. A... You scumbag. <laughs> What kind of person even are you? Where are you even from? That's a good idea for a next question. Oh, are you going to ask me the same fucking thing? Dr. Cole. You keep doing that. I am going to have to have you sign up to my fucking OnlyFans. But you keep dribbling in my ear. Where are you from exactly? In this country. I can't recall. Accident. Remember? That's a safe answer. I don't want any safe answers. I don't want any safe answers. This is not a situation where I want you to feel safe. I want you to be afraid. I'm actually fairly... Do this actually reminds me of in a weird way. It's like a SCP containment breach. Except I'm talking to an SCP before a containment breach. Dr. Cole. I, I told you, stop that. What are you afraid of? Getting saliva in my ear. Oh, sharks, the ocean. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for your honesty, Dr. Cole. Even someone like you, trained to see the horrors of the world, must be afraid of something. Just open ocean. 100%. This place is full of people who have seen things. Powerful relics. Nightmares. Gods. Demons. Yep. One's more frightening than the one sitting in this room right now. Well, are, are you a god? A demon? Satan? What are you? But all you have is little old me. Like, what are you? And trust me, you should be afraid of me. The things I am capable of, the things I have done. I, 
don't even know what this thing's done. I don't know what it's done. I don't. I, all I know is it's got a stupid name. You are a monster. Do you believe in God, Dr. Gold? Uh... I'm a man of science. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. If, if I say that I don't believe in God, does that mean that you disappear? Because if you're God, then I don't believe in you, therefore you cease to exist. Romans 1.18 A beautiful... Terrifying passage, don't you think? No. I am a God-fearing creature, unlike some who would rather play God. So you're not a God. You fear God, therefore you must be a demon. I am also Stop a that. superstitious person. So when someone instills the fear of God in someone, I take it seriously. Is that a threat? Oh, seven one. Is that Bible verse supposed to scare me? Is that a threat? Oh, seven one. It scared me, Doctor Gold. Pure soul-shaking terror. At least it was when you said it to me. By the. Doctor Gold. Well, I'm afraid to be the one to tell you, but this is not the first time we have met. No? We have met before. Do you know when? Uh, no. Before that? You had a fair different disposition the last time. I like you a lot more I, I, what? You seem more tame this time. Tame? Oh, fucking tip. You've changed. You're not wearing a suit. Oh, you're wearing a suit. Okay, next question. How, how did you... You go first as usual. Would you he was wearing a suit. me, doctor? Oh, oh, subject 071 named Dr. Gold. Oh no. Am I turning into 071? I'm almost at one. I wouldn't hurt you, Doctor. I'm I'm all seven one. Doctor called. Please give the phone to all seven one. Uh, swapped. Oh, uh, Doctor Gold now thinks he's all seven one, and all seven one's Doctor Gold. Okay. What happened? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will ask them. Uh. What what happened? What what happened? I am old. Oh, shit. When did that happen? I don't hear anything. Are you okay? I've been hearing that clock for a long time now. Do you have 
love anyone you love, Top Purple. Shit. A daughter? A sister? Uh... I'm gonna guess a daughter. I had a sister once, Doctor. Beautiful girl. Had the voice of an angel when she sang. I don't... I don't know but what she to... was special. She had a large birthmark on Why her might, face. Why does it say subject 071 name? But Dr. I Gold. thought she was beautiful anyway. The other kids in her class tormented her daily. They called her Two-Face. She would come home crying to me every day. Okay, okay. And no matter how tightly I held her, how much I assured her, she never felt safe. And then she told Stop me Stop appearing in my face. An angel, an angel that told me they would make all the pain go away. The angel gave her gifts. A doll, a kitten, a pretty little dress. Excuse me, I have no idea what's going on here. And then the angel asked her a question. Is there anyone who frightens you, little girl? Oh, shit. But the girl lied. She told the angel, Nobody scares me. It was my fault. I told her to be brave. So the angel took even her over. Even if she was alone. Even if she was scared. Even if I wasn't there to save her. The angel saw through her lies, and the angel took her soul. Okay, so you're the angel? And then my sister burned her school down, along with herself, and every single one of the children that tormented her. And then I realized that it wasn't an angel that talked to her. It was a demon. It was a demon. But wasn't that you? Yeah, wasn't it the... The most effective way to restore someone's memory is to show them what happened right before they lost it. Oh no. Did I do the killing? Look at the screen, Dr. Gold. Did I do the killing? Do you hear the screams? The screams of children? Their blood and oh skin God, what barely alive. Their tears turn into stone. This went from creepy to just downright Drowning chilling. Drowning in the sea of screams was my sister, Dr. Gold. Alright then, if you love her so much, what was her name? Uh, uh. Uh. Crispy. Is that a lie, Doctor Gold? I don't know. I don't know her name. <laughs> Please don't, please don't take my soul. No, I, I won't take your soul, Dr. Gold. I have no such power. Oh. What the fuck? I'm not 071. You are.
I've been all seven one the whole fucking time. After you killed my sister, you tried to run away, but you were hit by a truck while my men were chasing after you. Unfortunately for you, that little girl's older brother worked for an international yeah. organization that technically doesn't exist. I wanted to kill you, 071, but unfortunately, what? my superiors want to use you, your powers. They allowed me to do whatever I want in exchange for keeping you alive. Oh my god, look at my face. Oh my god. What? We'll keep trying to find more things about you. So we can keep you dogs on. You won't remember this conversation, Dr. Gold. 071. I will keep erasing your memory. Over and over again. And you will relive this nightmare for as long as you are alive. You don't like that ticking noise from 71? Interesting. What? That is annoying. Do you feel in control, 071? Uh, so I'm a demon? Oh god, I am a demon. Look at you. You may look cute, but you don't even sound like us at all. All you're making is those clicking noises, like an insect. Huh? Then why are the guards always looking in your direction? That's a fair point. Every time he, every time he speaks, there's no clicking. Whereas every time I speak, there's clicking. <laughs> okay, so I'm the demon. Shit. Take them back to their holding cell. Go back to your office, 071. We're done here. Okay. I did not expect Come that. Come with us, 071, or Jesus. else we will have to use force again. Okay. My god, take that damn thing off. You're scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Don't you think you got a little carried away, Dr. Vasquez? Hey, I couldn't resist. I'm still angry. Well, we found out one new thing about 071 today. They're afraid of clocks. Uh. Tell your man to raise my memory all over again. You know, I really did try to save your little sister's life. I don't control of whether or not I have the souls of other people because of their lies. So I didn't take their souls. I in a way become one with them. I can see what you see, feel what you feel, your pain, your loss, your anger. I see the apartment that which you used to share with that was left to your family, and that was just you. You may be wondering how I'm able to do this. Like I said, I don't steal souls, I just live through them. Your interrogation wasn't perfect. You did lie. Once. When you said you wouldn't hurt me. Because you did. And you'll do it again. Everything. Even the fact that you keep a gun in your desk drawer. I would love to leave you alone and I just see life through your eyes. Like a quiet observer. But your clock is way too annoying. Get fucked! That was really good. That was fucking great. This 
Oh, I love this game. Loved it. It just it totally spun it. And I've got a feeling there's multiple endings as well. Just because of the way everything worked out. But fuck, that just spun. I didn't even catch that I was turning into, you know, the certain screens. I didn't catch that. I didn't even notice it was clicking. And the clock was pissing me off and I didn't know why. Because it was really loud in my ears. Oh no, that was wonderful. Oh. So good. I will leave a link for this. Please go check this out. Such a good game. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like, a thumbs up. Oh, just, oh, sorry, I, I, I'm gushing over this. This is so good. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. Uh, if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have, thank you so much. But you can also hit that bell icon if, if you want to be notified of anything else that I bring out in the future. Dang it! As usual, all of my social media is down below, along with my merch site and the link for the artist who done my logo. Uh, go check her out, she's wonderful. Uh, so, again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care!